Also this, sports and concerts still on hold and don't look for a refund just yet, we're hearing. Consumer reporter Alana Otler looked into the options for those of you who might still be holding tickets. Tonight would have been the Rangers' 30th game of the season, but there are no signs of life at Globe Life Field. No players and no fans like Randy Martin and his daughter. I've been taking her to games uh, since her first birthday, and every year I take her to a game for her in or around her birthday. That game was postponed like the rest. Now Martin says he really needs his $150 back. This past week has been dismal. Uh, we're working about half what we normally work. He asked the team's president about the issue during a Facebook live chat last week. While John Daniels took questions about player salaries and Netflix shows. No, I haven't watched the Tiger team. He did not address any comments about refunds. And it completely ignored me. I felt that was a total slap in the face. My wife has lupus. I am, I'm high risk because I have uh, pre-diabetes. Michael Whitchurch says even if games are rescheduled, he's not comfortable going. He's waiting on the Rangers to refund him more than $400. And I understand it's not their fault, but that doesn't give them the right to keep my money. But yesterday, the MLB updated its policy. A Ranger spokesman says starting today, the team will issue single ticket refunds for impacted games on a case by case basis. Customers can head to the team's website for more information. But the team's hope is that customers will hold on to their tickets, as no games have been officially canceled. Those aren't the only tickets which church is holding. It's an evening with Michael Bublé. He bought two passes for a concert at the new Dickies Arena in Fort Worth. But there's been no music and no money returned. Online ticket seller StubHub changed its refund policy during the pandemic, replacing the cashback guarantee with credits for other shows scheduled through next year. The question is how long the virus poses a threat. I don't know that I'm going to go sit in a crowded arena to hear Michael Bublé or anybody. Alana Altler, CBS 11 News.